Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Mariella. I am the owner of Blush Butterfly, and today I will be going over a gift guide for the woman in your life. And um, I'm very excited to be sharing with you guys these gift ideas. I have all price points in this list. So um, I'm very excited to share that with you guys. I hope that they're helpful. Um, so we're going to start with the most expensive items. And then we're going to go down to the least expensive items. And I do have my laptop in front of me. So I'll be going off of this list that I came up with. Um, so starting with number one, the most expensive one. And that is... A vintage Alhambra bracelet now these are very popular bracelets they're from Van Cleef and it's a five motif bracelet so each motif is like the little flower um, so it's five motifs there's different kinds um, at least for my taste I do like mother pearl and that is a white one there's also a black one um, red and I think there's a few other colors as well and that is priced at $4,200. Um, so this is the most expensive item that you're going to see. Of course, um, I'm going to be going over more items as well. Uh, the next one is the Vintage Alhambra Pendant. So this is like the necklace version of the bracelet. And it is $2,750. So $2,750 for one motif as a necklace. I think this is a very cute statement piece. It's very simple but elegant. Um, so that's one of the things that I've had at least on my list um, for a long time. Number three is Hermes sandals. Now these went up in price point. I remember them being like around $600. Now they're around $750. There's been a price increase in basically everything. So these sandals are $760 and especially since spring is around the corner i think that it's a really good sandal to have it comes in different colors it's a very popular item when it comes to hermes um number four is for the golfer in your life or who wants to pursue golfing and that is the wilson golf clubs this is a good starter for those who want to start golfing and um, it is starting around $400. Number five is going to be the Kate Spade. I think I'm pronouncing this right, Grimercy. So this purse just launched and it has gone viral on TikTok. I prefer the white one, but um, it's up to the girl in your life what she prefers. Right now, um, this purse is on sale for $251. There's also the alternative, which is the Coach Tabby bag. Um, this purse is also, has also gone viral on TikTok. And that one, it depends if you want to go with, with the mini, small, or medium version. But starting as small or medium, it's going to be $350 to $450. And it's a very classic bag. You can dress it up or dress it down. It's the perfect classy bag to have for everyday use. Number six is any Ralph Lauren knit sweater or polo. So with the knit sweater, you can get in one around $200 or a polo shirt, you can get it around $110. I've been leaning towards the khaki tan. Um, they have a variety of different colors. That with the khaki tan isn't available at the moment. Maybe as spring starts approaching, they'll launch that color, but basically any color you can think of, they have it. Number seven is the Hoka or New Balance um, shoes. So Hoka's, they're originally $165. You can get them on sale if you get them at a good time. New Balance, they're normally around $100. There's been a few that have been become very popular. So for the New Balance, it's the 9060s or the 550s or 530s, one of those two. Number eight is a Lululemon. Basically anything Lululemon, you can't go wrong with it, but you can expect to spend a lot of money at Lululemon. Um, based, almost everything's like $100 or more, so you can go for leggings, you can for, go for the defined jacket. Um, those are two very hot items. Number nine, I'm going to throw in something from my store. Um, this is a metallic puffer jacket. It's a great addition to your winter collection. 
it's priced at $88. Um, it has been my best seller. It's sold out time over time. So if she's a puffer girl and she's into pink, I think that this would be a really good gift. Number 10 is basically any kind of necklace. But if, for this example, I'll be providing my initial necklace. I also am going to be launching the dog mom necklace and a Texas pendant necklace. So if she lives in Texas or she's a Texas girl at heart, I think that would be a good um, gift to give her. And that one ranges from 50 to 60 dollars. Just depends which one you get. Um, number 11, this one is an idea that I got from my cousin that he did for his girlfriend. And what he did was he purchased her whole Shein cart. Now, it doesn't have to be Shein. It can be any store that she is a fan of. Um, and so buying her cart is the best gift really that you can give her. Every girl has a cart going but hasn't clicked purchase. So can't go wrong with that. Um, number 12. Uh, this would be something that oh, if she's a picky girl like I am, um, your best chance is to have her create a wish list with Gift Hero and for Valentine's Day or for her birthday or even for a surprise like any day throughout the year, you can go on her Gift Hero link and buy any of the things that she's put in that wish list. All she has to do is go to gifthero.com link the products that she wants or has been admiring and then you can go there anytime and just look through her wish list and just click purchase on any of the items that she would like so i think that's a good way to surprise her for a special occasion or anytime just for fun last but not least is do not forget the flowers especially if she is a flower girl at least the minimum thing you can do is buy her flowers and get her a small gift now let's say that none of these is a hit at least you don't think that's going to be a hit. Um, you can also purchase a basket and you can actually just go to Home Goods and get everything from there. So you go to Home Goods, you go to the basket section, you find a pretty basket, you fill it with a candle, with her favorite chocolates, with a, a mug, and fill it with things that you think she'll like. A journal, pens, like fill it with things that you know she'll enjoy. And you can even go to Ulta and find makeup products or give her put a gift card in there to her favorite store. I'm going to show you guys an example of what I'm putting together so maybe it will give you some ideas of what you can do. All right, literally as I mentioned this, I already have a bag of Valentine goods that I'm putting together for my sisters. I try to do this every year. I shouldn't have been that loud because I think my sister can hear me, but literally you can go to Home Goods and get everything from there. So you have no excuse. So this is, this is what I have going right now. This box, I got it from Home Goods and it wasn't that expensive. It was $6.99, $7. So you can't go wrong with this. So I'm giving them each a box. And there's items from Home Goods, from the Dollar Tree, from Walmart. Literally, you can put a box together for her with flowers um, if you think that you want to go, if you want to go with an easier route. Okay, so far, this is what I have. This is not put together, so I'll make a separate video once I have everything set up. This, I got it from Dollar Tree. Walmart. Dollar Tree. These have gone viral on TikTok. I didn't find it at Dollar Tree, but I found it at Walmart. It, of course, it was more expensive. It was $3.48 versus Walmart. I mean, versus Dollar Tree. You can get it for $1.25, but it's hard to find at Dollar Tree. So I found it at Walmart for... 348 this kind of looks like an alcoholic drink but it's not it's an apple cranberry and it's 100 percent juice and i got this at dollar tree i was shocked when i found this because this is not something that you would find at dollar tree but i think it was there for new year's 
and so I got it okay and then this is what the box looks like inside so you don't have to spend a lot of money when you're buying gifts literally you can go to home goods dollar tree and find everything you need there i'm not finished with these boxes i still have to find other items to put in them and this is also another thing i found at ulta my sister is a hello kitty lover so um i bought her like this lip balm this one was a little pricey this was one nine dollars um but it's a limited edition she loves hello kitty so you can't go wrong with that i still want to buy them chocolate so their favorite chocolate is ferrero rocher um and what other thing that i wanted to add i wanted to do something with this i don't know if i should just put the candies in here and call it a day um i kind of i think i want to put the chocolates in here uh, last year i tried to find these and i couldn't find it but i did this year so this is just an example of how you don't have to break the bank to find a good valentine's day gift i have two sisters so i have two boxes and i think this is a really good gift to show your loved ones that you appreciate them this is a good gift guide for you and your sisters if you or your sisters are single I think this is a really good way to make them feel loved, especially during Valentine's Day. My sisters always give me flowers. I always give them a box of goodies with their favorite stuff. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to be linking everything down below. And if you guys have any ideas, put them in the comment section and let me know what you're thinking about gifting your friend, your sisters, or even your girlfriend. Share this video with others who well, might think it's beneficial. Share it with your boyfriend, share it with your sister's friends, and hopefully this helps. I'm going to try to make a separate video for gifts for him. So for the guy in your life, you're, if you're wanting to find a gift for him, um, I'd be more than happy to help with that. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching to the end and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.